I am really intrigued by this one. So far. I'm a little bit scared, though. It's bad vibes here. Bad vibes in this town. Oh, girl, she sounded so strange. I could barely understand her. She sure sounded like she wasn't from anywhere around here. Now, I'm tempted to say she sounded more like she was from another time than another place. You're right. Okay, well, you know what I, I do enjoy about this one so far? Is that not all the characters are teenagers? <laughs> we do have some different ages. They're college students and the professor. Even Angela said she was a senior student or something like that. Whoa. Okay, what do we have here? Oh, another postcard? So another picture. Okay, that's the bus driver with a gun to his head. The question is, is he pointing the gun at his own head? Or is someone else? It kind of looked like it was him. Based on the position of his shoulder, but it's kind of hard to see. Kind of hard to tell. I hear things that don't sound human. <laughs> it was the deer. Might get a better view from up there. there um I was just gonna wrap around anyways all right have it your way Andrew Ghost towns of the Northeast, Little Hope, the town returning to nature, the abiding image of a ghost town in the popular imagination of an arid desert shack surrounded by tumbleweed. However, ghost towns exist even in the lush Northeast of the United States, buried away in forests, forgotten and abandoned to nature. The reasons for towns to become ghosts vary, but inevitably comes back to eco economics. The town may have boomed from logging, mining, or industry. Then the jobs go, and the people with them. The aptly named Little Hope is one such town, a one-factory community built around textiles that disappeared when cheap imports overwhelmed the market. After many attempts to save the mill, it closed, and a mass exodus ensued. Soon the school and even the church closed, leaving a desolate ruin. Hidden Depth. Little Hope is a deserted town, but the forests that surround it continue to lure extreme sports enthusiasts. The caverns of Hobbs Deep are famous for ice climbing, but its ice falls are known to be very dangerous. Caverns? Uh, in this week's episode, Kate Wilder rips the mask off, the Zodiac Killer, but will her hard-hitting investigative style unearth any new facts about the not notorious killer? Worth watching for the stunning views of San Francisco taken from the Golden Gate Bridge. How are you coping? I don't know. What do you think happened to us back there? Makes no sense. I have absolutely no explanation for it. 
Makes zero sense to me. What is out there? We'll find a way out. We will find a way out of here. We have to. I hope you're right. Appreciate you checking in with me. You got it, buddy. Smeagol? A drowner? Is that what those things were called in The Witcher? Drowners? Man, I gotta play cyberpunk. Alright, that's really off topic, but... Little Hope Historical Society presents The Witch of Edmonton, a play by W.M. Rowley, Thos Decker, and John Ford. Performed in historical dress at the Little Hope Middle School, Saturday, 17th of April, 7 p.m. Okay. Does this have something to do with what we saw? Hmm. Could be. I guess it could. It didn't feel like that. I don't know which is worse. Ghostly apparitions or a town full of historical weirdos. I think ghostly apparitions is worse than weirdos that are just really into history. But that could just be me. I don't know. I mean, the worst that they could do is just talk about some kind of history stuff for a few hours at you. Uh, that little girl. Mary. Mary. How did she say it? Mary. When we looked at the map, the place where we were, there was kind of a long stretch before reaching anything in the town. So, looks like there's a tunnel here, though. There's something up ahead! Which way? Can we move it? Amen to that. Look at that! Hey, wait! Stop! I'm just gonna say it. This is exactly what goes down in horror movies. What the hell do we do now? Hate to break it to you. I'll deal with this. Stay right here. But you're pretty much in a horror movie. Um. Um. Yep, you have fun with that. Be careful, please. <laughs> hey, Professor! Damn it! It's just like what happened to us. You think the professor will be okay? Uh, he's doing the right thing, I it's guess. It's high time he stepped up. He's the one in charge. Finally, he's doing the right thing. I'm sure he'll be grateful for your concern. What is this? Uh... You should have gone. Maybe you should have gone with him instead of standing here hoping someone else would step up. 
Oh. Back up a little. She's I could say the same to fierce. you. We both had the chance. Say nothing. For once, you have nothing to say. I have a bad feeling about this. I've got a bad feeling oh. about this. <laughs> oh, see, he's fine. Are you okay? I lost my bearings. I couldn't see you through the thick fog. Did you see the little girl? I could see you back there. That's really odd, because I sure couldn't see you. Your clothes looked different, and your accent was off. You sounded like an actor in some historical play. It must have been someone else you saw. I teach you. I know you. I recognized your face. Whoever you saw, it wasn't me. Now please stop, you're scaring me. I am all done here. Oh. Seems the fog won't let us go anywhere except into the center of town. The fog decides where we can and can't go? Fuck that. I'm trying another way. Don't you kids watch horror movies? You never ever split up. Those movies are dumb. And I'm going this way without you. Maybe splitting up isn't such a good idea, Taylor. No way am I going down there. Where are you gonna go? Where is she gonna go? I'm with John. I'm with Andrew. I'm with Andrew. The town isn't so far. We all go in together. Butt out, Granny. No one asked you. Oh! Okay, time out. Can we all just take a breath? Think about what our next move is? We can check out more options if we split up. I'll go with Taylor. It's not safe for you to be hanging around here on your own. Two teams are more likely to find a way out, which is what we all want, right? No, it's dumb to split up. I guess up. you're right. If the fog lets you through and you find help, send them into town to find us. Got a feeling we'll find help faster than the others. As long as somebody does, that's all that matters. Okay. I think I have this like theory going in my head. It's probably wrong. It's probably completely wrong. But he said he saw her, but in like historical looking clothes. So I think that all of these people might have had something to do with like Mary's. I could be so wrong, <laughs> but like she was she was burned thought to be a witch and I think all these people had something to do with it and they're like I don't know reliving or she's just messing with them or is reincarnation I don't know but like they're being made to like suffer forever and ever for all these decades as different people, but the same, you know? I don't know. All right, so us three are going ahead into this tunnel. The other two are going to try to go back to the bus, I assume. I'm not really sure. They're just going the other way. I'm here with the old fogies. All right, seems pretty. Hold up. You hear that? I don't hear anything. Oh, jeez. Damn, he just... He just left us. Oh, shit. Quick time events are starting. Thanks. Vince? No, that's not what we saw before. There was some guy with this. Are we okay here? You just We're left good. us. That noise was just the old guy from the bar on his bike. Stupid old drunk. Uh, somewhere around here, I there saw must be somebody an easier way with back a, up to the road. Some kind of 
Let's Shears or something. I thought. Some kind of weapon. I'm just gonna stay here with these pink flowers. You got an explanation for what we saw? Nothing that makes sense. I do know there were witch trials in Little Hope around the same time as Salem. What happened? You can figure that out for yourself. No, she can't. She doesn't have access the to the internet that? or a library. You can figure it out for yourself. What's up? Are you okay? You look worried. Are you okay? Yeah, thanks. I am more or less, but something here just... Uh, what we've been through and seen tonight is difficult to stomach. And yeah, no shit. We all have our own way of coping. John here feels the urge to be our leader, the alpha male. Yeah, Whereas leading Daniel the pack, Taylor running away first. Different, somewhat more animalistic urge. Um, what are you saying? Are you saying what I think you're saying? What do we think Grow she's up saying? A little, Andrew. If you were stuck with Taylor, you would be no different. Girls aren't interested in me. Andrew, have, have a little faith in yourself. We've got bigger worries right now. That's true. We have bigger things to worry about. We do. But I'm not sure we're really getting anywhere. We should catch up with John. Fine by me. When she said animalistic, was he thinking that they were going off to fuck? Because, like, this is not the time nor the place. Sup, John? Are you okay? Feels like Angela is constantly weighing me up and finding me lacking. I feel responsible for everyone here. You are all in my care. How would you handle all this in my position? Um, stay positive. I guess I got this. Try to stay positive. Do my best. That's all anyone could do. Not sure my best is up to dealing with whatever is going on around us tonight. Well, then we got to work together. What we saw back there. You think that was really supernatural? Uh, well, we can't be sure. We really can't be sure what it is we've seen. Makes sense to me. Just because I can't explain what we saw doesn't mean we have to reach the most extreme conclusion. Mm -hmm. That's kind of what happened in Little Hope during the witch trials. Good they point. Bad decisions based on very little hard evidence smartest thing you said this whole time sure i get that sure i get that either way our goal here is not proving or disproving the supernatural ghosts whatever else it's getting the hell out of here mm -hmm. I don't hearing like the sound of that. noises again it's nothing to worry about yeah Sounds of feral and fish, ferocious, ferocious and vicious animals. Nothing to worry about. something that spooks him he's <laughs> he's just gone <laughs> oh fuck i i shouldn't have paused there i didn't know what i was doing it was just a cat it was just a cat. We're fine. I jumped the gun on that. Great job. Glad you made it over. Uh, you flipped out again. You flipped out again. Just like you did on the road. You can't blame me for that. Huh? <laughs> if you two wanted to be together, you should have just said so instead of just taking off like that. <laughs> 
<laughs> I'm starting to like Angela. <laughs> uh, uh, well, someone has to look after John. <clears throat> someone had to keep John cool after he took off into the woods. Very funny. I'm telling you, there was something grotesque in that hut. There was indeed. Something grotesquely small and harmless. The terrifying creature in the hut was in fact a cat. Let's carry on, shall we? This place is our best shot. There must be a radio or a working phone inside. Maybe even our driver, too. Look around for something we can break the glass with. If this place is abandoned, why do they think they're going to find anything that works? Like, no one's paying the phone bills, right? Am I missing something here? Uh, a rock? Guess we could use that? Give me that. I'll smash the window. I want to look for clues, no not a way to get in yet. Okay. If you're sure. Anyone can do this. Not anyone. Putting a rock through a window at 10 paces, anyone can make the shot. If you're feeling under pressure, let someone else do it. I'm not feeling pressure. Just saying. Can you Why stop are we talking? making a big deal will out of- just get on with it? The frame will have rotted away and the glass will fall out on its own before you two have finished. <laughs> here, here. <laughs> oh, strike. We'll make a ball player out of you yet. Do you think a rookie could make a shot like that? Looks safe enough. Oh. Uh. Piece of cake. You're up next. <clears throat> okay, back to these two lover birds. Little Hope Middle School. Middle School? I thought they were going away from the town. Hmm. You believe that woman really looked like Angela? I don't know what John saw, and I don't intend on sticking around to find out. Smart. But we can't leave. We've tried. Let's pick out the pace bit. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. What's that noise? I I'm don't sure know. It's nothing. Spooky noises. Land for sale. Well, ain't no one buying this. Land for sale. Okay. Just want to make sure there was nothing else in the text box there. I wonder what closed the school down. There were no oh, more students. About that. Even if you make it over, there's no way I'm following. I never did like school. Let's get out of here. Yeah, <sighs> Daniel. Like there's no way through. I think you should stay away from I those made spiky fences. Here. Um, you know, don't stress it. Don't stress it. No one made us come this way. We'll find another way. It was dumb to split up. Why do we always split up? It was the first fork in the main road. Oh, it was a fork in the road? Oh, okay. I got a little bit confused there. Thank you for clarifying. What the hell? Hey, you. Hold up. Little hope. Little Hope Bridge. Rogers Brook. 
Here's the you are here thingy. J Chandler, T Chandler, Iron Mill. Okay. Blanchard's Plain. River. There's some kind of lake, a pond. Little Hope Bridge. Oh, guess we're at the bridge. Guess that answers that question. And there's a playground over there. Oh, great! A playground! I'm sure all the ghost children are there. Being totally not spooky. I have no idea what this is. There's that Smeagol thing! Oh god, get away from there, get away, get away. I'll take my chance with the ghost children. Hmm. Why are abandoned playgrounds at night so spooky? You want to go on the seesaw with me? Taylor? I've Just kidding. Um, there's a drawing with a little girl and an adult. They're praying? I don't know. I know they mentioned Megan was like seeing some priest or something, which was really weird to me. Like, did not sound normal at all. Staying after hours with the reverend or whatever. <laughs> Over there! Go the other way. Hey. Are you okay? Who are you? Who are you? What are you doing here? Something is real off about this whole thing. Yeah. Let's go. This the same little kid Angela and Andrew saw before? I have no clue. Whoa! You can't be doing that! You gonna bite your finger? didn't just happen. Quiet now. I will not be gone. What are you talking about? Get away or he will find me. <gasps> Come on out, Mary. I know very well you're in there. Please, no, let me go. I will release you once I'm sure you will not speak of our secret. Your childish games tire me. Secret. You will respect me and you will say nothing. No. Let go of her. Let go of her right now. What spell have you cast? I am frozen to my marrow. I have done nothing. Amy is the caster of spells. She is the one in league with the devil. I saw her in the forest together with her familiars. I am innocent. I will have the truth one way or another. You come with me, girl. Thank you kindly. Be silent, child. Okay. Can someone tell me what just happened? There's some weird Those two kids have to time be somehow. convergence. No way that's a coincidence. Going on. I I don't get it. Let's not hang around here. It's time to go. 
Right with you. Oh man, I don't know, but my theory that I just spoke about earlier about her, about these people in a past life, like being bad people to her, maybe isn't true. I'm thinking it's maybe not quite right. Another photograph. Ouch! Looks like we might end up down in those caverns. Something grabbed her with like a whip I'm or a vine or something. Both of us are getting out of here. You'll see. Don't fail the quick time event. It's probably what that boils down to. Okay, why is this so dark? Could mean someone's around. Maybe they can help. Let's head over. Let me help you. I can't see. <laughs> All I see is a black, dark gray screen. Okay, we went out down into the pit of darkness. It's great. I don't think this takes us out of this shitty town. There's no road. Must lead somewhere, though. I'm not so sure. There's barely even a path. Place must have right. been a grocery store or something. Doesn't look like one, unless this is the back. Stop. That campaign didn't work out. The Ravenden well. factory closure. Now what? Give me a leg up. I'm going for the stairwell. No, no, not yet. I want to explore more. <laughs> I'm missing out on clues here, I think. Seriously? You're going in there? I guess I am! Let me go first. Let me go in, look around. If it's all clear, I'll come and open the door. I'm not sure. I don't like the idea of being out here on my own. Be right back. Promise. While you're down there, Taylor, can you check what those clues were that I missed? Please. Pretty please. I need your phone. What for? Flashlight. It's dark in there. Please be quick. Throw it to me. <sighs> Nailed it. Why is the window already open, though? I'm in! Is it safe? Think so. I don't know, girl. I can't see shit. Oh. Let's see what we have here. Notice of closure, effective June 28th, 1975. We wish to inform you that on Saturday, June 28th, the store will close. Sadly, due to the decline in business since the closure of the factory, we are unable to continue trading. However, Whitman Mart wishes to thank all its customers for their support over the years. Yours, J. Schmidt and A. Lash General Managers. Before we go down... Oh god. What 
What is this? Oh, another picture. Look at this photograph. Knife. Knife. Okay. Great. I will hydrate, Shamari. Thank you. Local minister arrested. A minister in the diocese. I don't know how to say that word. Of Pleasant River has been arrested after complaints from concerned parents about his behavior. The arrest comes after recent revelations of, that the minister conducted an alleged satanic mass. An eyewitness said that the minister of St. David's Church in Little Hope did not resist as he was escorted from his home. Captain Daniel McGuire confirmed that Reverend Leonard Carson was being held in custody at the Little Hope Police Department awaiting charges. A spokesman from St. David's commented, I've never seen the minister do anything untoward. His interest in witchcraft was pur purely academic and he would often warn parents of the spiritual dangers of the occult. Another parishioner who did not want, who did not wish to be named, claimed that the minister was innocent of wrongdoing. That child is known as an attention seeker and I'm certain she has made up the story. Other members of the congregation agreed. Reverend Carson was a good man, a godly man, said one mother of three. I can't believe he'd do anything like this. He's been good to our family. These accusations are lies. The district attorney's office did not respond to calls. When contacted, the office of the Diocese of Pleasant River stated that the bishop had declined to comment, but that a deacon... Something, 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 something. So he was arrested for satanic rituals? I thought it was going to be for some, I mean, worse, arguably. Having relations with, like, little children. So we could drop down here. Guessing maybe here there's, like, there was actually nothing. Okay, so we got to drop down. Okay, Danny boy. Whoa, no, don't go back in the room we were just in. Carefully. Hello? Anyone there? Why would anybody be here? Fla lots of flashlights. Come on, will you? Oh my god. <sighs> Nailed it. I always go too fast on those. I don't know if they change, like they start getting slower towards the end, but it's always towards the end. I always like do it too, too fast. Hello? Who's there? Another cat. Hey! Bitch! Can't get through. This window is all boarded up. <sighs> Fuck off. You gave me a shock. Sorry, I, I didn't mean to spook you. I got enough spooky shit going on around know. here. I got rats for company. I got company of the rodent variety. Ooh, gross. Relax. They look well fed. Head to the front. I'll meet you there. Sure thing. Rats. Hold on. Please. I'll be right there. With the banging. Stop. Will you relax? I'm coming. Hold on.
You just wait, little lady. Come on. We need a break here. Nada. What is? Number one, dad. Great. Just great. All right, here I am. Angela, how the hell? The back door is locked. What troubles you? Tell me, what is happening? Sona will come for me. Calm yourself, wife. Who is coming for you? They're talking about me. There are accusations. Accusations of what sort? They talk that I'm in league with the devil, that I'm guilty of witchcraft. There's no sense in that. Who would say such a thing? I, I cannot rightly say. Confront, leave, confront. But in a nice Stay way. Stay where you are. Fine. Just tell me what's happening. How did I get here? And where the fuck is here? Hold your tongue. You are privy to the rumors about my wife, Amy? I, I don't know you. What? I don't know you. John? Open the door, Josie. This instant. Something ails you. What? You seem changed, even your attire. Joseph, this ends badly if you do not open up. You will be in contempt of our warrant. What plan do we have? I will resolve this. My word on it. Do not admit them. Reverend Carver. Marshal. I have here a legally written warrant for the arrest of Amy. My wife has done nothing wrong. There is a witness to your wife speaking in tongues. Who accuses my wife? Mary. The word of a child condemns my wife. You will deliver yourself into the Marshal's hands for your own good. Then I must accompany her. She will not leave my sight. Such action will not aid your wife's cause. Trust in justice. Huh. Mm. Do Trust and justice. I will find a way to resolve this. There's no justice here. Mm. Where the hell have you been? I went to another dimension. Just for a quick spell. You look freaked. What's up? You saw something else, right? You could say that. I saw John and Angela. You're not going to believe this, but I saw two people who looked like the professor and Angela. Jeez, I thought the professor was blowing smoke up our asses with his Angela twin story. Guess not. It looked me. Uh, I saw Angela arrested. Well, lookalike Angela was arrested. She was being accused of witchcraft. The spooky little girl. She gave the name Amy to the priest. That's what got the woman arrested. Mm -hmm. The woman, Amy. I guess she's in deep shit then. Oh. We've really screwed up here. Instead of getting out of this awful place, we're right back in the middle of town. Everyone's gonna die to that thing. Calling it right now. What do you think? Uh, let's look around. Let's take a look around. See what we can find. There you go. We'll be on our way from Little Hope while the others are still MIA in the woods. You don't sound worried. Ugh. 
Like that I told you so attitude. This place is a real dump even for this shithole town. Something up? Yeah, there's something kind of familiar about this place. Have you got a big time criminal past we don't know about? Serial jaywalker? These small town police what? stations all look the same. Hey. There's got to be a phone in here someplace. You're deluded if you think there's anything here. Place is dead. Just like the rest of Little Hope. Just like we're about to be. I'll try, but I don't think it's gonna matter. Sorry, guys. Yep, this place is all falling apart. Keep looking. Man, I feel like I'm in a, ra a raccoon city. Township of Little Hope, Certificate of Commendation, presented to Little Hope Police Department. On January 16th, 1972, officers George Reynolds and Ernie Hoffman responded to a call concerning a house fire. Arriving before the fire service, the officers, with no concern for their own safety, rushed into the house to attempt to rescue the family members trapped inside. Tragically, many lives were lost as they were beaten back by the flames. However, the mayor, chief of police, and a grateful public thanked the police department for their continued dedication to service. Samuel A. Carver, mayor. Okay. Is that the the house fire that we witnessed at the beginning of the game? Fucking thing. I thought this was our way out. No radio. No radio. Typewriter, we are definitely in Raccoon City. RCPD. Where's Leon? We will be with Leon soon. There's got to be something. Old Witch Jail. Built 1684. Demolished. 1783. Nice. In 1692, during the Little Hope Witch Trials, many of the accused were imprisoned here. Ah, including Miss Amy? This looks just like... This looks just like in Resident Evil, doesn't it? I know this room. What the fuck? I'm getting freaked out. There was a safe behind here. And it's locked. Of course it's locked. We need the spades key or whatever the fuck. Okay, we went in here. Where, where am I missing here? What's going on? Someone's knocking. Prepare ourselves. Brace ourselves. Reynolds, keep bracing. Keep bracing. It's not safe yet. Reynolds, keep bracing. Little hope to a police department. Brace. Brace. Okay, we're safe. We're safe.
I'm just a tad freaked out. That's all. Just a little bit. I'm mostly brave right now. Prison cells. I've lost everything. Horrible. Okay. Oh no. Oh, that's... wait. That's when we opened, right? Yeah. Nobody's home. Stop knocking. What the heck, man? I'm lost. You've already checked this out. Have a winner found a phone yeah does it work though this could be our way out mine's dead <coughs> Shit! um whoa hey take it easy can you stop reacting to every setback like a child? Look here. The cable is missing. Uh, there's got to be a cable here someplace. Ugh. Okay. Got me bumbling around some more. Looking for a cable now? Search for a phone cable. How oh, riveting. That's a dead end. Big. Why did you make that? Oh. What do you think? Answer it. I got this. I can do this. Be careful. It's just a phone. Don't stress it, Professor. I'll be fine. I should not be here this day. I stand there falsely accused. I all that What can you hear? A woman. She sounds real upset. You have to calm whoever it is down. You'll get nothing if they're hysterical. What's upsetting you? Can you tell me what you're upset about? As I walked, a man appeared at my front. I reached out in fear. I had not seen him approach. This man I had never seen before. His clothes and manner of speaking were not familiar to me. He spoke of... Okay, it's all good. I'm gonna help you out here if I can, but I... I need to know your name. Just like stuck on my screen. Go 
From here, girl, I would speak with you. You cannot talk of our secret. Eternal damnation awaits if you do. We have an understanding, do we not? No evil words shall leave my lips. Should you breathe a word, or the edge of a word about the other things, then I will come to you in the black of some terrible night and bring a reckoning that will shudder you. Come now, Reverend, let us begin. Enough time has gone begging. Judge, Go he's the guy from the beginning. I beseech this court and good Judge Wyman, do not be fooled by the protestations of the accused. If I pause it, but nope. is the master of deceit. There. All his Ugh. servants feign innocence. What the fuck? They can do little else. I solemnly swear before God, I am innocent of all accusations against me. Hush now, Amy. What the hell should we do? Um, stay quiet. We need to stay quiet. We just let this play out. See what happens. I mean, no offense, Reverend Carver. I do not believe any of my neighbors. Those who know me best will speak out against me. They know who I am. That I side with the righteous. I will not be caught in the web of your deception. The devil hides himself where he is least expected. My wife is no devil's plaything, Reverend. I beg the court's forgiveness. But I stand by my statement. My wife Amy is innocent. I respectfully ask this good court to pay no mind to the words of a man whose very home is foul with the stench of brimstone. Approach. Girl. I beg you, good judge, let us conclude our business here without further ado. Lest we afford the forces of darkness the opportunity to bend these proceedings to their will. No! Mary? Mary, my sister, what ails you? What the? Stay out of this. What have you done to this child? You have bound an innocent girl into a pact with the devil himself. The poor creature seems possessed. No doubt you're doing. It's not true, Reverend. Why have you taken against me so? We will the see the truth of it. Of Amy, lay your hands on Mary. Let us see what occurs. No if I am correct, your you touch will no release danger. her from this affliction. It must be so if you are the one who bewitched her. I can't take much more. I don't think I can take much more of this. I think it's almost over. You are in no danger. They are here among us. No. Of course. He told her to do that, I bet. What more proof is needed that the devil walks among us in little hope? <laughs> it's fucked up. Take heed and pray. The devil is here in this very room. Protect yourselves. Seek out the Lord. But also, he's like threatening her, so. What the hell was that shit? Was that for real? The for real, for real. Didn't the witch trials happened centuries ago? Most of them over 300 years ago. Then how come we just saw one? Like I say, I have no good explanation. I can't believe how much that woman looked like me. How in the hell is that even possible? When you first told me, I thought you were messing with me, or exaggerating. But seeing that woman for myself was a whole world of weirdness. That little girl who had some kind of seizure. What do you think was going on there? Uh, I saw that- I saw the girl in the woods. I know that little girl. She's the one me and Angela saw back in the woods. That woman, my double? What's she looking at if the trial goes against her? The sentence for confirmed witches in Little Hope was always brutal. Violent death, drowning, hanging, burning. 
And let's hope she is, or was, found innocent. Accusations were often malicious, made by someone with a grudge. Or by meddling liars, like that little girl. Or someone who, who was took being perverse threatened. perverse pleasure in poisoning their own communities. No, she's just a kid. Come on. She's just some little kid. Who most likely doesn't get how big a deal the whole thing is. She knows exactly how serious it is. Either way, the woman on trial, Angela 2.0, she seemed like she saw us. And so did some of the others. You're right about that. They definitely saw us. A little kid just seeing us appear out of nowhere? Could easily believe that was witchcraft, especially back then. Dream up all the excuses you want for that little kid. I don't trust her one little bit. We can't explain how we happened to see each other. How do you expect some little girl from 300 years ago to wrap her head around it? That woman might double very distressed, almost traumatized. Yeah. It was tough to watch, for sure. Um, her husband looked like you. I noticed something else weird. Her husband? He looked a lot like you, Professor. The two people with that little brat look just like Daniel and Taylor. What the hell does all this mean? Who's that? Hey, Professor! You in there? Come on, let's go. Hey, Taylor! We're in here! Okay. Um... It auto-saved right there, so I'm gonna just reload it so that we don't have to see that prompt again. I think that should fix it. Hey, Taylor, we're in here. We can't open the damn doors. Uh, we can't either. They must be locked. Let's all try to force the handle. In three, two, one. I got you. Oh, good. We're all together again. Taylor. Hey, Professor. Find anything that could get us out of here? Hey, Professor. Nothing that's gonna help us much. But I found this. It's kinda neat. Number one dad. I don't believe it. I saw this exact keychain in my dream. I don't remember that. That's pretty weird. It's more than weird. It's significant. I just... don't know how. Mm. Still think splitting up was a smart move? I would say I'm now more open to exploring other options. I'm glad you two are finding this funny. Personally, I think we're in deep shit here. You know what happened to your devil, right? She was accused of witchcraft. Not just accused. Tried, found guilty, and condemned. We need to know what that woman is facing. What's gonna happen to her next? I like the idea. But how would we even begin to find that out? We've already been down those paths. Maybe the answer lies down the one path we haven't taken yet. The witch trail? What the hell? The execution site? The cemetery? This is fucking crazy. We have no clue what we're getting ourselves into. Um, it's building to something. The trial, the strange girl, Angela's double. Feels like it's all building towards something. Only question is, are we headed someplace good or bad? That's up to me, I think. And bad is probably very, very bad. In my experience, yes. You will, you will die horrible deaths. And it will be all my fault. Who's best character in this game for you guys? Who's best character? Need your students toward the town. Stick together. My vote goes for Angela. She's a riot. Andrew's cool too. He's number two. I get a kick out of Angela though.
Can I go up here? Invisible wall. Tilly Johnson. 1836 to 1858, a promising young author who died tragically after writing her first novel. What is this? Uh, a mold? A, a bust piece for a statue? Taylor, you need to see this. Looks like her Otilly, Taylor, their names always start with the same letters. You've got to be kidding me. What is that thing? You ever have any family here? In this shithole? No way. Why does that weird fucking thing look like me? I don't know, man. Reincarnation. Tilly, Taylor, Tanya. Uh, Sir Frog, you like Andrew? Shamra, you like the little girl? Because she has powers. Rat, you like the cat? <laughs> You'll be surprised if any of the characters from these games win best boy or best girl at the Bunny Awards. Yeah, I, w I would be too. I, I don't find the characters in these games endearing at all, except maybe Emily, because, you know, reasons. Hail, rock and roll. Dulce Periculum, Father of Fire, Jeweled Curse, The Roadhouse, 322, Palmyra, $2.50, APM Saturday, February 12th. Rock and roll. Daniel, you need to see this. Oh. What's going on? It's him. Another I even noticed. Coincidence. This guy looks just like you. Recognize him? Yeah, I recognize no. him. He's me. And I've never been in a band either. Well, maybe you should be. Maybe you should be. We're back to the... Is this the same bridge? Maybe it's a different one. There's like... It's all fucked up. Watch your step, Angela. I'm about to go right I down. For shit. <laughs> I told you to watch your step, Angela. The water looks black. I don't want to go anywhere near it. Yeah. Same Z's. Well, how are we going to get past this? Walk across the beat? No. Okay. Who's first up? Huh. I'm going to walk across Professor? this narrow You keep telling us you're in beam? charge. So. Um, 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 um. Let's check our other options. Maybe we need to check all our other options first. Right. Thought so. Come on. What? It looks dangerous. For all, not just me, but for all of us. I want off this bridge as fast as possible. But well, nobody that liked that. Someone has to go first. You lead. I'll be right behind you. Tough crowd. Oh, we're doing this. Well, that's not too bad. Actually, it is. It doesn't seem too bad, but if you were there in real life... Oh my god, why are you jumping? What is wrong with this guy? Is he trying to make it fall? Huh. Ah! Oh, we're separated again. Hey! Great. My god. What do we do? We can't stay here. This year of our Lord, 1692, we are here present to bear witness to a just execution. 
No! Amy is declared oh, guilty of consorting with the devil and is to be drowned as a witch and sorceress. Let us pray in silence for her soul. I've done no wrong. I am no witch. I do not deserve death. I beg you. What's going on? Why, why do you look like Angela? Your words have little meaning to me, but I beg you. Help me. The devil is in the wind, seeking to help his own. He would release her from the chains. Isaac, let us conclude our business here swiftly. The will of the court must be imposed before it's too late. The devil fortifies her. You must bind her tightly. You cannot do this! Isaac, I am innocent. fulfill the will of the court. Send this witch back into the lap of her master, lest he come for us all. Little Hope is already lost, shrouded in evil. But not as you claim from witchcraft or outside demons, we are poisoned from within. You will not save yourself with riddles. There is no riddle. The devil takes many forms. You know that better than any. In Little Hope, he has hid himself under a shroud of innocence, taken the form of a child by accuser. While Mary still draws breath, Little Hope remains beyond salvation. There lies your evil reference. You very big mm. Isaac. I don't know if I'm convinced. Oh well. Not much she can do about that. Oh, that is awful. Oh, she's there okay I think we should like help her what did you see tell me I don't know how to tell you what I just saw can we get off the bridge first um um well uh you almost drowned your double was pushed into the river in chains she drowned It's a Smeagol. All right, I'll go first. <clears throat> <clears throat> Okay, you two, get on down here. Um, break a hip. Okay. 
Nice. See, John's fine. He made it up himself. Uh, that's a chain. That's chained up. Okay. Phew, that was really quite close for Angela. No, we she got was almost this. lost to a fate worse than death. Got this. Not that there's anything particularly wrong with death. Well, we don't want we don't want that. Well done. Not a soul lost so far. For now. This could have been quite different. Okay, good. Someone could have died. Even the way in which the stakes have been elevated, some kind of weapon might be useful about now, don't you think? You really should have explored more thoroughly, you know. I tried! Right now. You know what, asshole? The boys have some interesting theories. Could they, as Andrew has suggested, be the reincarnated souls of their historical counterparts? Or maybe you're choosing to believe Daniel's theory that they're already dead. My dream was lengthened after life. Oh, then began the tempest to my soul. I passed, me thought, the melancholy flood with that sour ferryman, which poets write of unto the kingdom of perpetual night. <laughs> it's possible, I suppose. Maybe the bus driver can shed some light. This must be very confusing for you right now. Doppelgangers, witches, ghosts, death, and demons. What could possibly tie all of these souls together? I dare say we'll find out, hmm? I have been granted permission to give you a single hint. Tempted? I need all the help I can get. Yes, it didn't help me last time, but... <laughs> okay, then. We will once again turn to the bard for some cryptic okay. inspiration. Listen carefully. Mm -hmm. I met him once, you know. I meet everybody once. Act 5, scene 1, where Cleomenes begs Leontes to forgive himself for causing the death of Hermione. Do as the heavens have done. Forget your evil. With them, forgive yourself. That's my Go clue? Go on then. <laughs> what the fuck? As terrifying as it might be, you should get back to it. Hmm. Okay. Well, I don't know what that clue was about. Forgive yourself for a past deed. Okay. Well, unfortunately, we've ran out of time.